uh, commercial film or video productions facility section 71 proposal. Um, I just recall when um, after the uh, 2016 election when a group of uh, new councillors sat around the table uh, I remember um, one Aaron Kewan sitting there and saying that one of the things he wanted to see achieved was this. So I'm going to um, invite him to uh, move this. Leon, oh, I have, I have to sorry. Go. Yes, yes, that is entirely appropriate. Uh, long black, thanks. Um, and uh, just joking, just joking, just joking. <laughs> um, so I'm going to invite him to um, move this um, motion and then um, and seconded by Tim. So I've got Aaron Kewan and Tim Scandrit moved and seconded the resolution and now I'll open it up for questions. So um, if there are any questions, if there are no questions, I'll open it up for debate. No debate, but I'll be abstaining on Okay, no, that's fine. Um, all right, so I'll put the motion. Oh, Aaron. Um, I'd just uh, uh, like to just briefly speak to it. Um, this is a fantastic opportunity for the city. Um, many of you probably know there's uh, at least two projects in this industry on the cards at the moment. Um, Christchurch is, uh, saw, like the rest of the country, sorely in need of jobs. Um, as far as GDP goes, Christchurch really underperforms as a major centre in this country, and we need some industries to get us up to a uh, a better performing economic level um, as, as a city and we need jobs for uh, people who um, are industry professionals uh, but that have worked outside of Christchurch to come home and work in the screen industry but also the opportunity for young people who live in the city to um, get into an industry that they'll probably enjoy working in. Um, not all of them but majority will. It's long hours, it's hard hours but you can take people from neighbourhoods um, who might not have done that well or had that greater opportunities in front of them and really give them a chance to work in an industry that they would love and be proud of. A uh, couple of numbers. Um, the tourism industry in New Zealand uh, has uh, done really well out of um, uh, Lord of the Rings is probably the most famous one. Uh, at the peak of tourism around Lord of the Rings, New Zealand was getting a billion dollars a year in tourism because of the number of people that were visiting our country because they saw it on screens. So it's not just the direct jobs, it's the indirect jobs. Uh, Christchurch currently gets of a three billion dollar industry uh, about one and a half percent. Uh, we are 10 percent of the population so uh, we need to really lift our game and create those amazing jobs for young people in our city. And let's not forget also in the screen industry that uh, the Māori and Pacific communities are, are highly employed um, and in fact in some areas overrepresented, which is a great thing because they're well paid jobs. So uh, let's celebrate that, welcome this industry to our city and, um, and it's also quite a, quite a green industry, possibly not the greenest but um, it's one that has, certainly has a conscience. Um, and uh, a lot of filmmakers are very, very aware of that. And so as we're building facilities in this city, let's make them the greenest in the world so that attracts more people to come here and use them. Lovely. I shall put the motion. All those in favour say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. It, oh, so there's three abstentions. Um, Mike, Sarah and um, Jake. Thank you. Um, the, thank you very much. That took a lot of effort. Um, yes, thank you. <laughs> no, much appreciated. Yeah. Sorry? Do you want to yeah, uh, fill back well, Obviously the answer is no, but I suppose no. I should. <laughs> um, Leanne, can I just apologise that, that I didn't thank staff then, but I would like to really thank this, yeah. the work that staff have done around this and um, our other agencies, the Film Office and DCL, have done yeah. a lot of work on it too. They have, they, they have. have. Thank you. Um, 